Hey guys, so today let's talk about preparation. So we are about to get our first cut of the movie and start a race against time to hit the deadline. In the meantime, what we have is the script, the story, maybe some conversations with the director. How are we preparing for that? So basically, what are we preparing ourselves for? For an intense period of time when we'll be required to be very productive, very creative and very responsive. Because most likely things will change and keep on changing all the way through and you will have to react and respond and at the moment you don't know at the bottom line. So I've noticed two types of preparations in myself for this process. One is almost rooted in fear to be able to do that and to meet those expectations. I find my mind dwelling in thoughts and trying to predict all those futuristic possibilities and find imaginary solutions to them with, of course, giving myself the feeling that I will be ready and whatever will surprise me, I will have it already, whatever is possible of that, ready and I can quickly put it on the table. The problem with that is that most of the time it gets me tired when the real moment comes, when this race begins. And even worse than that, I get attached to things. I get attached to thoughts, to ideas, to melodies, to tunes that I have made before based on those imaginary situations. And when the real time comes, I find myself more trying to find where I can squeeze what I already had before rather than look at what is, what is in front of me and see and respond to that. So I guess in our context, the first type will be like checking every possible new gear, buying sample packs, writing as much music as possible, just to be ready, just to cover every action scene, every romantic scene, every atmospheric scene. So again, to be safe. The second type is something that happens more in the background. It's more bringing myself to this state of mind when I will be very creative, very responsive. And the key to that is to have space in me, to have space in my mind, in my system, for all these new ideas to come and arise. And attachment to all ideas definitely doesn't help to that. As I mentioned before, it immediately throws me in this other process of trying to see what fits where, rather than see what's in front of me and totally respond and react to that. It's almost more about getting myself pregnant with the, the story, with the ideas, and fertilizing the soil on which all these futuristic melodies and tunes will grow. I've noticed that in order to truly respond to a situation and act, I need to have space and capacity in my mind, in my creative system. And for this, I need to be as less preoccupied as possible and as less attached as possible to old, remember those imaginary ideas based on futuristic problems that still don't exist and I still, I don't know at the moment. And those might close the gap at the moment, kind of get me by, but looking back at those, most of the time, I won't be totally proud or satisfied with them. And again, there is nothing wrong in sitting and writing music and having this type of preparation. It's just a very thin line to notice where it's coming from. It's, if it's a dwelling mind that's trying to keep himself safe and make it out of anxiety almost, or is this childish, exploring mind that is playful mind that is exploring, playing and expanding and educating himself towards, you know, this time to come. So it's mainly to notice this thin line and notice where are you operating from. So doing that can give me the false idea that I'm ready, but most likely will ruin the experience when it really comes. Again, because I'm more occupied 
more attached and less available and more tired because I burned my energy on those so-called trials. So to start is the hardest part. Fear and doubts arise. My brain tried to start to calculate every possible situation and every possible solution to this situation. And this is very tiring. So many times those fear-based activities as, are taken as preparations and actions, but they're actually not. They make me tired and attached and preoccupied and less available when time to really act comes. So how can we really prepare ourselves and still stay fresh and excited and be totally available for the real moment? Be inquisitive, imagine the story, be playful, play with your instruments. It's a great time to learn a new instrument. It's a great time to learn new things, to educate yourself, to listen to music ins that inspires you, to read books, to watch films, and to rest, like an athlete before a marathon. And most importantly, read the script. Dive as deep as you can and sort of gather the information you can. Combine the physical, the facts, like what you can get from the script, what you can squeeze from the director, talk to the actors if you can, with the metaphysical, which is your imagination, your experience with humans, your experience in life. Make the characters of the movie as personal as possible to you. Know their thoughts, know their past, know their feelings, if you can gather it once again, great. If not, invent it. It doesn't matter if it's true or not. Most important that you have a background to the story and that you will have depth to what you do and to avoid this one size fit, fits all results, which are boring in my opinion. So once again, characterize and personalize everything. Make it yours. So of course, this is a very individual and personal process. And that's what works for me. Go and find what works for you. Thank you very much. See you next time.